Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And today I would like to revisit my two-tone collection series. So I have three more charms that I wanna share with you. And the first one is called Golden Dragonflies. And in my opinion, this is one of the most sought after and most beautiful two-tones that Pandora has created. I have this charm in the center of my two-tone bracelet. And of course I've got this gold one and then I flanked on either side this beautiful dragonflies and then this raised flower. I think these are a really good match with each other, but let's take a closer look at these dragonflies. So you can see the amount of gold that is sitting on top of the silver and there is so many dragonflies and they alternate the direction that they face. And it's such a beautiful charm. So there's the hallmark, the ALE. And then if I spin the charm, you can see the S925. It's a little bit more of a block letter right there. And there is no words for how gorgeous this charm is. The details on it, like even in the wings, there's a pattern, the body of the dragonfly. It is truly an amazing charm. The second charm I wanted to share is called the Royal Carriage. And I was inspired by Pandora's newest um, carriage release for the Disney 100. So I thought I would share with you all of the carriage charms that I have in my collection quickly. But first, let's feature this one. So here is the hallmark underneath. And you've got the wheels with the spokes. The back wheels are a little bit larger. You can see the curtain detail, the handle. And there is a little bit of the profile of a person in the carriage. We all like to think it's a princess. And then at the top, you've got the 14 karat gold crown and nestled inside the crown is such a beautiful extra touch is a pearl. And that wasn't necessary. So Pandora, when they did that, it's just the little extras that they do that just makes a charm really stand out. And this is one of those extras. The back of this charm is identical to the other side, and that's a nice feature on this charm as well. So again, the profile of the person with the curtain. So let me share with you quickly the other carriages that I have in my collection. And we might as well start with the Disney 100. So here is this one. And what I've mentioned before that I really appreciate about this charm is there's no CZs on it. It's just a diamond, some 14 karat gold in the door and also on top. And it just makes that silver swirl pattern really stand out pretty. So there's this one. And here is a nice size comparison to show you the two side by side. This next carriage charm is Cinderella's carriage and you've got the little hearts there and there's the gold crown in the center. And again, you do have the little bit of a swirl detail with the wheels and how it kind of comes together underneath. And then again, you have those hearts. So this one does have CZs and it also has a little heart opening on the door there. Um, there's also a rose gold version of this and I don't own that one. But uh, yeah, so there is a, some differences between these carriages. Here it is with the original. So it's a little bit larger. And here it is with the Disney 100, and I think the shape of these are almost identical. And the last carriage that I have is on my Regal bracelet, and I don't see this carriage that often. I don't know if it wasn't a favorite with many people. This one is called the Polished Crown O Carriage, and as you can see, it's the Pandora O on top of some wheels. What I really like is the beaded detail. So Pandora kind of copied the other carriage, do you see what I mean? Look at the wheels on both of these carriages. They copied it almost exactly, except with the Pandora O crown one, they put a little beaded detail. And then you've of course got the Pandora lettering with the crown on top and it isn't a two-tone. I think if they had made it a two-tone, it would have made this one stand out that much more with collectors. You've got the heart cutouts that are going around the bottom and now that I see this bracelet, I desperately need to clean this bracelet. I do wear it quite often and I haven't cleaned it in so long, but taking a look at it, this polished O crown carriage isn't so polished. <laughs> 
So quickly going back to this one here, I am working on a bracelet design that's a little bit fairy tale, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be going with pink or baby blue with it, or maybe I'll try a different color because I wanna put some older Muranos on this design. And so I pulled it off of that work in progress to share with you. And the last charm is this one here. And I love this charm so much. This one's called Birds of a Feather. I love the 14 karat gold birds and I like how it combines them with some green CZs. You do have some silver birds as well that are sitting among the branches and such a gorgeous charm. So let me show you the catalog here quickly of when this charm was first released. So I'm gonna come back to this Valentine's 2014 collection book and there it is featured quite prominently on the Animals and Pets page. So Birds of a Feather was $75 when it was first released. And I think I forgot to mention that there are two 14 karat gold birds on this charm. And it does combine really well with the older peacock. There is no gold on that one, but there is on that vintage allure that I shared in my last two-tone collection series. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope that you're enjoying this two-tone collection series. I know I'm really enjoying recording these. I just think it's really nice to give each of these charms some individual attention. Thanks again for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.